Good morning, everybody. Uh, I like to welcome you all to the Information Day of the EIT, and uh, we really see with joy the gigantic interest in this event, and I hope this is becoming very rewarding for you in learning more about the EIT and its kicks and its activity. I have the utmost pleasure to introduce to you uh, Madame Vasilio, our Commissioner of the uh, Commission Part IAC, uh, and uh, you should know, and this is maybe a good place uh, to state it, uh, she and uh, her department have been really helping uh, from the background the EIT to come what it is today, and you would wonder why who has the responsibility for education is taking an endower as the EIT. And the clear answer is it has something to do with mindset change in education. And I think you will learn more, and she is now speaking. And I think, please, uh, you are welcome to the stage. Dear Chairman, Madam Member of the EIT Governing Board, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me a great pleasure to declare this Information Day open and to see the interest generated by the EIT in the European Innovation Community. Your presence at this event is tangible proof of the success and appeal of the EIT and its knowledge and innovation communities, the KICS. Several years ago, the Commission put forward a novel idea, an institute that would bring together our excellent education, research and business organizations so as to enhance Europe's innovation capacity. The initial idea has paid off. The EIT represents a real step change in the way that we Europeans approach and manage innovation. It is bringing about a real change in mindset, moving towards a more innovative and entrepreneurial culture. Every day, the three existing kicks, Climate Kick, Kick Inno Energy, and ICT Labs, demonstrate the tangible impact and success of the EIT's work. The EIT integrates for the first time at EU level the world of higher education with research and business. Today, the KICS involve more than 350 partners in 19 innovation hubs across Europe. The EIT is successfully converting ideas into marketable products more than 400 business ideas have been incubated through the KICS and a wide range of new products and services have been launched. The EIT promotes the creation of successful startups. Today, more than 100 of Europe's startups owe their existence to the EIT and the KICS. And last but not least, the successful nurturing of innovative and entrepreneurial talent is part of the EIT DNA, with more than 1,000 students enrolled in KIC education programs. One lesson we have taken from these early years of the EIT experience is that there is no one recipe for success that can be systematically applied to all KICs. Each of the three KICs are pursuing their mission in different and creative ways according to their partnerships and the economic and societal challenges they are addressing. Building on this success, we are now ready to take the next step, embarking upon a new phase of consolidation and expansion. The existing three kicks are being consolidated to further reinforce their impact, and the EIT kick portfolio is being expanded from three to eight over the next few years. This year, two new kicks will be launched in the fields of raw materials and healthy living and active aging. In 2016, two more will be created on food for future and added value manufacturing. 
and in 2018, a kick addressing challenges related to urban mobility will be created. We are counting on your contribution and commitment to further capitalize on the EIT's potential for innovation, to promote sustainable growth, and to overcome the challenges faced by European society. As I invite you along with all other excellent innovation stakeholders to join the EIT family, I want to highlight that the EIT itself is part of a much bigger family, that of Horizon 2020. Horizon 2020 brings all EU-level research and innovation funding together in a single framework. So what does the EIT contribute to Horizon 2020? The EIT brings a new approach to the way our funding is invested in innovation. Innovation is the introduction of a technical or organizational novelty to the market, not just the invention or product itself. For too long, we have focused on the invention aspect, neglecting the journey from idea to market. Research programs transform money into knowledge. The EIT transforms knowledge into business. I think it is fair to say that the EIT, due to its design, has a unique approach to innovation. The unique contribution of the EIT to Horizon 2020 is not just what the EIT does, but how it does it. I would like to focus on some of the key elements that make the EIT such a significant means of developing innovation in Europe. Firstly, the integration of the knowledge triangle in business-like partnerships. The basis for the EIT is that a strong interchange between the three sides of the knowledge triangle, higher education, research and business, offers a vast potential for innovation, economic growth and social development. Countless examples demonstrate that the interaction between talented individuals and organizations working in different areas accelerates innovation and creates positive spillover effects for all involved. Traditional partnerships already bring together players from different sectors. The EIT approaches this in a new way. Via its knowledge and innovation communities, what we call KICS, the EIT is integrating a series of excellent organizations from across the innovation chain into highly structured and legally based partnerships. This myriad group of players works together as a business. Just as with normal companies, kicks are led by a CEO and establish annual business plans to carry their activities in a strategic manner. Just like business, KICS are established with the intention of being long-lasting organizations that will be evaluated based on their merits. They are not projects with a predefined end date. They are living organizations with a long-term perspective ready to adapt to deliver results. This assurance that the KICS will be around for a long time gives the partners a strong incentive to commit to the kicks. Not only do the partners decide what a kick must do, they also decide on how it will be done. The business logic of the EIT informs all of its activities, from its fundamental design to its funding model. The EIT funding model reveals its innovative nature. In a time of fiscal constraint, we must increasingly rely on closer cooperation with industry, in particular, and society in general. The KICs are able to leverage at least 75% of their budget from other sources, including contributions from business partners. I would like to make it clear that the EIT is not another EU funding scheme. The EIT is about investment, 
investment in innovation and in excellence, but also, crucially, investment from key partners. The second element, the EIT's focus on talent and people. The EIT is the only member of Horizon 2020 family linking education with innovation. The EIT invests in human capital, in creating new and improved curricula, in promoting excellence and relevance in education, and making it more responsive to business and societal demands. The EIT is spearheading the creation of new diplomas for master and PhD students, combining excellence in academia with a fresh em emphasis on entrepreneurship. The EIT is bringing business to education and education to business. It is designing and developing new educational programs together with industry. The EIT's approach to education not only relies on the transfer of knowledge, be it scientific or entrepreneurial, but also on learning by doing. The aim of EIT labelled diplomas is to give students the possibility of carrying out internships in industry, learning directly from entrepreneurs and other professionals, so that they end up with the right skills and the necessary experience to make a difference. EIT education programs do not operate in isolation from the main activities of the KICS, but are embedded in all KIC entrepreneurship and business innovation activities. For example, as part of the entrepreneurship support activities, entrepreneurs receive training and mentoring on how to develop a business. The third, the third element I want to highlight is the EIT's openness and readiness to work with others. The EIT's emphasis on excellence must not be confused with the lack of openness and accessibility. The EIT is designed to be a European institute at the service of innovation in Europe. The EIT provides a framework in which new players learn from the lessons of established ones and in which rapid knowledge exchange can take place. It is not only helping train entrepreneurs, researchers and professionals, but it is helping them turn their ideas into reality. KICs are open to new partners. They involve an ever-growing number of organizations and work with individuals from across the innovation chain. Being part of Horizon 2020 will also help the EIT and the KICs find new ways to work with other existing initiatives and to benefit from sharing knowledge across the EU. We believe that by establishing KICs in the key areas addressed by the societal challenges, a clear focus on building synergies and complementarities with other policies will emerge. The KICs have demonstrated the value of working in cooperation with other initiatives, either at a regional, national or the European level. For example, EIT ICT Labs signed an agreement with the public-private partnership Future Internet. Climate Kick works in collaboration with the Joint Research Center. And Kick Inno Energy actively contributes to the SET Plan, the EU's pillar for energy technology policy. This cooperative approach is encouraged. I believe that the EIT's added value to Horizon 2020 lies precisely in its catalyzing effect, in its capacity to assimilate education, research and business within one entity and to create environments in which innovation thrives and talented people find solutions to concrete problems. Under Horizon 2020, the EIT will share its business approach, providing a role model for developing entrepreneurial education and cooperation with others. 
Ladies and gentlemen, looking around this room, I'm happy to see people from all over Europe eager to learn more and to join the EIT family. I encourage you to actively participate in today's discussions and to draw on the conclusions to build the strong partnerships that will help us create a more innovative and competitive Europe. We have launched the call for proposals for the two new kicks last month and the application process is opened until the 10th of September. I strongly encourage all of you to form consortia with partners from as many member states as possible and apply for joining the EIT family. Excellence, of course, remains our objective. But excellence combined with broad outreach will even be more appreciated. Thank you very much for your attention.